Callum, Wednesday is the next adventure for the youth side, the second round proper of the FA Youth Cup against Mansfield. Surely not another upset. It's, um, that's the plan, isn't it? Been a real adventure, um, as we keep sort of alluding to. It's been a, a, an unbelievable experience for everyone involved to have played the sides that we've played um, and had the results that we've had. Uh, it's been incredible and it's been a real experience for all of us. Was made aware uh, it is the, the record amount of wins for the football club in, in the club's history in this competition. For us to have come right the way through from the preliminary round, like we say, reference to the opposition that we've played, it's been unbelievable. There's been a few upsets. I think we've we've mastered that of not really being favoured for games and, and having to go and put a performance and, and get a result. And you've seen what we've done to Wrexham. I keep saying I think that was our poorest performance um, out of the particularly the three where we've we've knocked established sides out. We were tremendous at Hartlepool and uh, I thought we were terrific against Barnsley as well. So we fancy ourselves, you know that we we know exactly what we're capable of, but we're well aware that we're we're playing a, a really strong side. This is a Mansfield side that have won the Football League Youth Alliance in the previous two seasons. They recruit really well. John Dempster has a really, really good staff. We we went there with um, we played one of their development sides last year, uh, and they made us really welcome, really good people. So we we know exactly what we're going into, uh, and I think it'll be our biggest challenge yet. I think it'll be our um, certainly the most difficult opponents we've faced. So I take it you've done your homework then. <laughs> yeah, we've, the normal work uh, exactly the same. The the way we got a bit about our business. So we've watched Mansfield four or five times. We won't get too wrapped up in that. We'll set up to get us to to our strengths. That'll be harder for this game. Than, than ever before but there'll be a level of preparation that we believe we can go and get a result we, we've been written off right the way through everything's gone against us from going to the first round against Sandbach meant to be a home draw and having to go there at short notice travelling to Marine on a Monday night difficult game to prep for hosting Wrexham travelling to Hartlepool in a, in a regionalised draw and then getting Barnsley one of the highest ranked sides in the competition at home in the first round we've been given nothing we've had to work immensely hard um, so we'll we'll certainly do our work, but be be sure we're going to go and put our style of performance on, um, but maybe with a little little difference with this uh, this particular game. And of course today, as ever, back in training with the scholars, how have they looked and how does the team look ahead of Wednesday's tie? I sort of referenced earlier, didn't I? It's the the hardest one to prepare for, numbers more than anything else. So for us, it looks like we've lost Lloyd Marsh Hughes for Wednesday is a a massive loss for us, but we trust the group. There's, there's two more that we think we, we should be right for. That last Wednesday became a bit of a, a nightmare, as you know, for us uh, in terms of that game away at Staley Bridge. We lost uh, a couple of bodies. We trust the group. We have a really strong group across the board. And I, I reference that the same names catch the eye, the ones that have knocked around the first team. Our group, that's our 17s and our 18s, will be able to put a really sort of strong, strong 11 out there that we, we believe in the performance. And that's the word, the level of belief in each other, what these boys have. We are where we are, people ask about a secret and, and how we've managed to do it, it's just the people, just the, the group of individuals, what they do when they come together and the way they believe in one another. I believe in them immensely, as you know, I am unbelievably proud of this group of people and what they've done when they've come together. I'm so clear about what they might go and do on Wednesday. Uh, I've said it right the way through the competition, I know because I get to see it day in, day out. So whatever challenges that uh, are thrown our way team selection wise, whatever challenges in terms of preparing for the game, this group believe. They believe in one another, they believe in everything that we do together and I believe in them to go and put that performance on. And of course, with the FA Youth Cup, the draw for the third round already complete and away tie to AFC Bournemouth for the winner. Is that extra incentive for you? No, I didn't know. Um, everyone keeps telling me, don't don't look anything past um, past Mansfield on Wednesday. So I was, everyone's getting really excited. You know, another nice local one. Uh, I wasn't getting too, too wrapped up in it. It'll all be about Mansfield. Certainly for me and the players, right the way through now to kick off, we'll, we'll be really prepared. We're, um, we're looking forward to seeing some friendly faces at Mansfield. We know there'll be a real support. We're, we're unbelievably appreciative of that. So there'll be nobody looking past half seven on Wednesday because this is another mammoth task in front of us. We, we keep doing the, the impossible in some people's eyes, but I know what the group of players are about. I know what we're about and uh, there'll be a confidence from us going into Wednesday. No one will have wanted to play us. Our record in this competition, nobody will have wanted to play us. For Mansfield, a home draw, huge advantage for us. Maybe there's some experience of playing in these sort of games. So uh, really excited for Wednesday, but only Wednesday. And uh, yeah, we can't wait to get going.